Good afternoon, everyone present here. Uh, yes, we have our respected teachers, our departmental HOD, Sir Gunani Sir, and our respected DC, Professor Vishwajar Chatterjee Sir. This is our fourth year, final year project. We are all are from the uh, mechanical department, and our project is the quadcopter. Uh, quadcopter is uh, uh, this is being used quite frequently nowadays in drone research purposes, in military use, and etc. So let me give you a overview of the quadcopter first. We have our controller unit over here, and uh, we have four brassless DC motors over here with fiber propeller blades and we have four electro speed control sensors in the four arms of the quadcopter this is the main microcontroller part unit model KK 2.1 and we have the electronic receiver over here so the mechanism is that once we give power through the controller unit and arm it the signal first is received by the receiver the receiver then interprets the signal to the microcontroller unit. The unit sends the signals to the four electro speed control units on the four different arms and the four electro speed control units give the respective power to the four brassless DC motors on the four sides. And so we get the required throttle and we get the desired flight time. The specific requirements of the quadcopters nowadays are it should be able to lift at least two kilograms of mass and it should be able to communicate with the user at least a hundred meter distance from where he operates and uh, these are mainly the requirements which are being used nowadays and so let's begin our demonstration over here. rotates in a clockwise direction and two of them rotates in an anti-clockwise direction we gives the quadcopter the thrust to move upwards. The model has a range of about two kilometers above the ground level. Now Saptarshi over here is arming the quadcopter. The quadcopter is now being armed and it is ready for takeoff. 